I was the sacrificial lamb, bloodshed, red, hypnotized by his godliness, paralyzed by his strength. Before it was red, it was green, lights everywhere. His essence had me on go, great lengths I would go. Nothing could stop me from drinking his skin. Swallowing every piece, pushing him to the bottom of my soul, of my core. I wanted to be one with him. I used my body to emulate what I wanted our spirits to be. But even in sex, he overpowered me. Never got the opportunity to fully notice. Never got the chance to see the other side of us. I was the sacrificial lamb. Tear shed, red. In the beginning, I was the beginning. In the beginning, I was his beginning. In the beginning, he forgot about the beginning. In the beginning, when everything was without form or I introduced him to heaven, sitting for hours and just be in existence with each other, going back and forth to heaven. In, in between, he would read to me, then he would read me. Speaking a language only my spirit could understand, building a foundation on concrete, but only I think. He forgot about the beginning, and I became his sacrificial lamb. Heart bleed green. In my mind, he paces, his footprints engraved in my long term, memories of his infancy in my short. He wasn't ready. I dedicated myself to patience, planted my feet in his heart and grew roots, like wildflowers twist and wine, cover him with my vines, but I am the sacrificial lamb. My mind bleeds blue, or is it indigo? How could my offerings of love to him be, sorry, I can't see, be him, to him be cursed in spirit when they were given to him in love? Between tears and violent spells, my eyes allowed me to see an epiphanic moment between myself and me. The mission of sacrifice was more for me than he. He was only a tool used by the divine femininity, the great mother, to reconnect me to me, from colors to white. Love stinks. Never, ever, ever will I fall in love again. From the constant ups and downs that send my insecurities into an all-time high. At times I feel like I'm not good enough for you. Maybe she deserves better. Until I start to project my insecurities onto her. Will I ever find someone who I can just be myself with? Someone who would love me for me? Damn, is that too much to ask? Maybe it's me. Believing in some fairy tale romance that will never transpire. All I want is a love where I could be free to express myself openly and someone not judge me for being me. But instead, try to help me through all of my issues as I help them through theirs. As we both heal each other's pain and traumas while love grows, and I can say, I'm in love. And I want to spend the rest of my life with my best friend. Ah, oh, fuck it. That doesn't exist. A love like that isn't realistic, I thought. Until I met you. I didn't believe it was possible to love again. You have a night in the fire side of me that challenges every apprehension I had about love. It's hard for me to describe this feeling you make me feel. It's kind of like... Like, I'm a Capulet, and you're a Montague. Romeo and Juliet, just a darker shade of a brown hue. I remember when I first saw you from across the room, singing songs in angelic tunes. A sign from a higher altitude. Is it a sign from a higher altitude? You get it. It's weird, right? That love that makes us speechless. I remember that time when I first met you, and I was singing that song, then I looked at you. It became more about me singing to you. Hey, baby, I think I want to marry you. But I don't know if I could be myself with you. My spirit is broken like bones. I block out love, my heart on silent like a tone. You will marry a woman who in childhood was left alone, creating an enormous amount of issues. Out of issues. But through all of your issues, your ups and downs, the good and bad, that's life. Find someone who makes you want to love you regardless of their flaws. 
even though you claim to be broken, I want to be the one with the task for repairing those pieces. Because you hold shines a light on the world that only a God is coming to see. You give me life because you are the life. But you ain't listening to my issues. I go through tissues when I don't hear from you. I'm triggered when I can't express my mind to you. Narcissistic abuse past keeps me from going all in with you. But I ain't the only one with issues. I know. I have mine too. Maybe it's cured of fear. Feeling like I'm not worthy of you. Like I'm a fraud when I want to be your loving bodyguard. Who breaks out every wall and see the safe in my arms. Did I mention I got familiar issues? I hear you, but I'm not going anywhere. Did I mention I'm self-conscious about my hair, my lips, my teeth, and my smile? I don't have a big booty. It ain't grown in a while. I think I got Peter Pan syndrome. A grown woman, but I still feel like a child. Just as expressive. Just as expressive. Let's see what's happening. You can always say you feel my energy when I think of you, right? All those things that make you insecure are the visions that keep me up here. Because I can't be this woman who feels like a child with the gorgeous smile, with the white teeth and the beautiful lips that I get lost in her kisses when I kiss her. As I work my hands down your back to that booty that fits in my hand is perfect. And why I happy, even with the shame of me, it wouldn't matter. Because I'm in love with your spirit. But did you hear it? I'm not what you think I am. Not a goddess. Most days I struggle to feel like a woman. Shit. Most days I struggle to feel like I am. I have to convince myself daily that I am that I am. I am an alpha female, supreme being. But because I'm strong, most men say I act like a man. So I cheat about myself and I do it all because I can. Still sound like marriage is a part of it. Um, I hate you now that I think about it. Hey, baby, I still want to marry you. 